We are all stocked up and ready to get back on the road. We're 140 miles from our destination, but I think there's going to be a stopping point, so let's get on the road. Onward bound. Complications. This is like the first time I've ever been stuck, and um, so Panda, it's only when it gets really hot that Panda wants to cut off on me, but normally I can stop, let it cool down for a second, and she'll start right back up. Now I'm just stuck in the driveway trying to start her, and she's not wanting to start back up. So I had talked to one of my friends who's a mechanic, and they think to seem it's, they think it might be vapor lock that if the fuel line is way too close to the muffler that it could be causing vapor lock um, where the gas turns to vapor before it even gets to the injector because it is it's carbureted but it's fuel injected carburetor but still if it's vapor it's not getting any gas because I'll push on the gas and nothing happens it just I mean I can hear the engine wanting to go but there's nothing actually happening so Ugh. So Mick and Colleen had passed me and they're coming back this way. We were supposed to stop here but they missed the exits and now they're turning around to uh, come back. I don't know what they can really do but anyways, um, yeah, so that's my dilemma. Ugh, I hate any kind of drama. <laughs> Alright, I'll let y'all know what happens. Alright, it's been a minute or two so I'm going to try to start it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, ooh, at least I can get out of the driveway. <laughs> what a pain in my butt. There goes, it cut off on me again. But at least I was able to back up into a spot. Ugh. Okay, good. That's it. I'm gonna let it cool down. So, when I let it cool down for a second, even though I stuck in the driveway, I, people just went around me. So, um, I let it cool down and it started up, but I can tell it's really hot. I think it might be the vapor lock thing. I'm not too familiar with that, so I don't know exactly. I'll have to have someone look at it. But I might just stay here till it cools down and let them continue on when they get here. I'll just say, you know, just continue on and... <sighs> Lord. So... I, that's why I usually like to travel at night. This had happened to me one time before, but it was a long time ago and I really hadn't had any, any issues with it. Uh, it was when I was in Florida and it was really hot. It got really hot and um, it cut out on me. I had to pull over on the side of the road. Actually. It happened to me twice, also in Arizona, and I had to stop because it was completely hot like it is today. Why I'm in Texas when it's burning hot and I'm traveling, I have no clue. Anyways. Oh, I have my thing. Mine, the signal came up and said, uh, cleaning the exhaust thing now. Uh -huh. And I didn't know that we stopped at Walmart. Well, when that comes up, we're supposed to drive it over 30 miles an hour, 20 minutes. You can have a thermostat sticking, this could be an easy fix. You should have Lee look at this for you. I don't think he said he knew. It doesn't act like it's... There we go. Yeah. It, is it? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. there is pressure and it's... Yeah. Alright. It just did a gurgle, so... You hear it? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna back up. <laughs> so 
weird because there's uh, fluid in there. This is how I used to check the and it has antifreeze in there. What are, you, are you taking it off or just putting it back on? Not even it's it looks fine there's no gunk around that thing I don't know I'm just it's 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 like it's a it's not like an overheating issue it's it seems to be what's wrong um what if I can hold my finger down inside of there then it's not hot yeah I mean it's hot but it's not so over it, hot yeah so it's not overheating with the um, antifreeze I think it's it's acting like it's not getting any um, gas but water, air, it's fuel is fuel and air, but you also get water on here. Right. I don't want to squeeze it so it comes out on me. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be but a good I thing. I want to squeeze that bottom hose so I can tell if it's circulating. Okay. Just look up there and tell me if it gurgles up or okay. comes up. Yeah, it's coming up. Okay, it is? Yeah. Every time you squeeze it, the fluid comes up. Yep. Okay. All right. So it's not the antifreeze. Well, you're, um... Oh, there's yours right there. What? Then it could be your, um, thermostat is sticking. It can stick open or yeah, it can but, stick shut. Uh, okay, because I was say, but then it would, um... So this right here, I'm, the hose is going right up the radiator through there. Yeah, but wouldn't it overheat? Well, yeah, it could. It doesn't act like an overheating issue. It acts like a gas. Cause but it's... maybe something shuts it off before uh, it gets a chance to overheat. Right. Your, your thermostat's right back here where it connects to the end. Where that hose I'm squeezing connects right. to the engine. Very but even at night, you. then it would overheat. Then I don't have that problem. Well, maybe it wouldn't get that hot, so I don't know. Right. You could have the wrong thermostat in there. Yeah. If somebody did change it and put the wrong one so that it's operating at the wrong temperatures, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to say that's the cheapest and easiest try to fix is right here. Right. Under I'm, that hose, pop it out. How about the old thermostat? Pop the new one in. Put the hose back on. Right. Which is what they would probably do. But on the other part, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's circulating. See? Uh, yeah, but that's supposed to be full, full. Well, it's got to suck from this chamber here. Maybe if the cap's off, it's not. No, oh, see the steam coming out? Yeah. Yeah, you need some uh, fluid in there. Get your fluid. Okay. We're going to add to it until it stops sucking it down. Okay. That's ex That's reserve fluid. Right. Yeah, I don't know how low it is, but. It doesn't, it seems fine, but yeah, I guess we'll just add into it. The other thing is, this is the right kind, correct? Yeah, it's the 50 50. There you go. No, there was. It just uh, w once you. It's all that stuff hanging down under here. Okay, it just sucked it back down. Oh, now it's bubbling. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See you. There's all that hot and frosty. Are you adding the right kind? Yeah, it's fifty-fifty. I know, but some of them say you can only use Dextron or whatever. No, no. This one's an old engine. It's. Oh it's... wait a minute. What? That was bubbling. Well, at least it started. I just uh, think it's just, uh, it's too hot for it right now. Wait a minute. What's wait a minute? I know, pan is just too hot to get. Be careful. Yeah, it's, it's kind of staying. What's going on now? This one's fine. Yeah, this one's still full. You're not full if you're thinking this one's full. I guess that's true.
waiting to see when it gets warm, that's when the thermostat's supposed to open, that would drop because then your fluid's going in to cool your engine. Right. I don't think that's happening. Just cleaned it off. Yeah, it's there, wasn't okay. it? Clean it off. Right, clean you know it off. You where it should be, right? Right, yeah, yeah. Okay. right there. It's all clean, right? Uh-huh. Okay, let's do it again here. Unless it's just burnt through some These oil. old trucks, they'll burn a lot of oil, huh? You need to check this thing weekly. Okay, where's your level? Right there, you know? Right where? Oh. oh, shoot, that thing is low. No, that's because it's twisted. That collected off the sides of the tube. Right. You're bone dry on oil. Lord have mercy. You got a pump? Nope, you just gotta do that. Yeah, it's in there. That's good. Otherwise, you drip it all over the engine and it smokes. It smells real bad. So, I just need to take it in and have it looked at when we get to Corpus Christi. Well, we just check all the fluids in it and make sure. Yeah, your water's going in there. See if we can get the oil up. One cord will make it not register on the dipstick. So it ain't, it ain't like it's out of oil. Right. You hear it knocking and pinging. Yeah, and I did not hear no knocking or pinging. Uh, so it, it's still oil in there, but one cord could make it not register on the dipstick because of how big the oil pan is. Right. All right, let's check it again, it's I guess. Of, I'm going to throw this out. Seep, yeah, let it all see. Yeah. Yeah, that was nice of him yeah. to stop and ask if we were okay. Ugh. Yeah, he had a whole wagon full of uh, engines and transmissions. So I know. Uh, yeah, I have. Check the trannies cherry juice. See? Yeah, that's good. Good. That's your power steering fluid. I know, that's power steering. That's the most important thing. This is brake. Just make sure there's power steering fluid and the radio works. Okay. And that's it. Yeah, that's good. It's always been good. And it's nice and pink. Full like hot. A, yeah, and it's nice and pink. Well, that's good. You don't get a lot of junk in there. And also, no. you can look at how around I've checked here, that before. There, there's junk. Right. Look at your cap. If you had a gunk or foam in there, then you got like a block crack or there's something in water. Get in oil, but to, it don't look bad. Does she have to start it again for you to check the oil? No, no, I no. no. It all, it's hot enough. Yep. No one's all drained down into the pan. That's where you're measuring from is the pan. Right. I thought you were supposed to check it after this, it rains. This stick is real. Yeah, there's well, two it, ways it is, you can check it. Already. You can pull it. Check it, check it hot. Yeah, okay, there. See, now, see, now see. It's, yeah, it's registering. It's huh. still draining down in there a little bit, so as long as you're in there, you're good. It could probably use another. Well, I can run it. Of course, something, but yeah. I'd check it again. I'll check it once it sits, and if we don't add any, we'll just check it again tomorrow. Right. I'd start checking it. Before you take off, every trip before you take off, I should at have. least once a I week. I usually do. Because these I burn oil. Time. My Explorer, since I've been towing that, uh -huh. I burned a whole quart of oil, and I've never had to add oil to it. Wow. But stressing that engine burns oil. Right. Well, I've never really had any issue, but only when it's like super hot. That part I don't know. It's, yeah. It's some, they got so much How that wind is blowing. You know. Huh? She is so over this stuff. Who? No, no. Why? She just give me the eye. <laughs> Did she give you some beady eyes? She's like, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, this dipstick is real hot. Yeah, it just needs to cool down, I think. Well, the good thing about these old engines is when they're hot and out of water, you can pour water right in and without cracking the blocks on Yeah, it's on registering them. now. Yeah. It's almost Yeah, full. you're still a little low. Yeah, I'll go get some more oil. We could add a little bit more. Okay. So we just got more oil. More the oil. five weight, it's thinner. 5W30, full synthetic. Yeah. It's expensive here, like $7. Yeah. That small itsy bitsy thing. That's it. That should be good, huh? Yeah, one and a half cords. It was halfway on your thing, so. Right. All kinds of good stuff in here. This could be a litter box, somebody who has a cat. Oh my or god. A wash basin to do your dishes <laughs> or your face or a. Chamber yeah, I'm pot. not gonna wash my face from that. Oh yeah, chamber pot. <laughs> it's a urinal for a great big compost toilet. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Put it back where it belongs. Yes, I still love the dumpster dive. <laughs> 
I used to love doing that when I worked at an antique shop. You'd find some really cool stuff. I used to do it when we were like nine years old in the apartments we lived in Indianapolis. Full so now? Shot yeah, much better. Ugh. I'm gonna need you to have a cigarette hanging from your mouth, yeah. sir, while you're working on an engine. <laughs> I ended up getting spinal meningitis. From what? Well, they thought it was from doing dumpster diving. Oh, no, that's... But I don't awful. know. I almost died. That sucks. I'm trying to clear off all the stuff from the tube so you can get an accurate reading because then it'll curl I scrapes know. all the oil. So Most people will check it once and they think they're good. but Looks good. This is the drama you have to go through sometimes when traveling. Oh, well. <laughs> still a good day. It is still a good day. Could be worse. At least it starts, you know? I believe it has cooled down. We're gonna go ahead and get going. I'm gonna follow them. All right, let's go. Time lapse on. Me? Oh, I guess they're following me. Okay, so I guess they are following me. <laughs> okay, ready to go. All right, let's go. Onward bound. <sighs> Wish me luck. Seems to be doing well.